Cry About It, a song that I hold really close to my heart. And that was not sarcasm at all. No, but for real, Cry About It is a song I, sorry, I, I need to check the script. But all jokes aside, Cry About It is a song that I really hold close to my heart and I honestly adore the song and I'm really happy of the success it's achieved. Um, if that success is being 200 streams on SoundCloud, I'll take it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made Cry About It and how it turned from the demo to how it is now um, on Spotify, SoundCloud, any music platform you can name, it's probably on there. A quick t-shirt change later and I'm ready to start telling you how I made Cry About It. So, this is not the screen, okay? So this is the project where I started the demo of Cry About It and um, it started off with me strumming a few pieces of guitars, so these two. There's literally just an EQ on both of them, which isn't that bad to be fair. Halfway through the chorus is this. I put some echo and reverb on it. And this is like the, um, A, it's a preset that I found and then you got the chorus chords which is with the intro the intro chord sorry I forgot to speak and what actually makes me laugh a little bit is these because it's it's literally just my guitar you've got other ones here I think that's only you can only hear that during the chorus but if I I can't do what I do in logic okay right That's what they sound like, because you can't really hear it in the song. Okay, what is going on here? So I put them down like that, to be fair. I overall just love, like, you know, I, I, I loved producing this track because it's one of my favorite songs I've made. There's these. This is the amp designer, I put some trem tremolo, I don't know how to pronounce that really on there. Um, and yeah, it's got like nice wah 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 effect. It's actually my acoustic. So that was the demo. We are now done with the demo. We are now moving on to my PC where I store all the instrumentals for my songs, such as Cry About It. I don't think Seasons was in there because I made that on uh, GarageBand. Um, it just goes to show what you can do really because even GarageBand can sound quite good in a way. Um, I just haven't really done vocals on there in ages because it's so limited. I prefer FL Studio for uh, vocals because it, it just really brings it out if that makes sense so uh, yeah I'm going to as cry about it's actually loaded now um, I'm going to switch to my FL studio on my PC I exported the stems into FL studio I added reverb onto the main guitars
and for the pluck things. That just has its own effect, so it's not really like linked to any like tracks or anything. And for these, I just added a lot of reverb. The chorus, um, that just has an EQ on it and it's cutting out the low ends to be fair. Uh, the guitar kick and the guitar snare. Sounds really interesting to be fair. I just cut out the low ends on the kick and I added a, a little bit of a compressor onto it, cutting out more of the low ends. Um, I did a limiter on the collapse with a noise gate. And this thing here. Literally has no effects on it, so. But how I started this FL Studio, um, how I started this song uh, on FL Studio, I only had the pads at first, which are just these. They have a filter on it and they're are a bit of frequencies that are boosted and cut, etc. Um, without the filter, they'd sound pretty much, they sound pretty much like this, to be fair. I laid the guitar kick with an actual kick. I also added a bass. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's a it's a uh, it's a bass um, bass string. There's a a clap as well as a swell. Which was in Dead to Me, that swell. Um, a piano, which is layered with the pads. Um, what is there? What is there more of, actually? I don't know, but I like the colour scheme. That's all I like about this, to be fair. Um, there's more. Ooh, what is that funky noise? I forgot about this. It's most likely down here, yeah. Again, layer in the piano and the pads. I love how it goes to the left and right, it just gives off that nice vibe to it. I also added a bit of ambience as well, um, you can hear, start hearing that through uh, the second verse until the end of this track. And then it moves on to this.
I like that a lot. And the ear candy is literally just this. this well, piano pad, sorry. I believe so, it's just the, the air candy is just a simple arpeggio. I like that, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Without this, it will sound like that. I really like that a lot, honestly. Uh, but this is the other one. So without any effects, hold on, I need to get this straight. Without any effects, it will sound like this. It sounds so different. I love it. I love how creative I can be. <laughs> Now that is nice, you must admit that is nice. It's a piano that has like a, a shimmery uh, feel to it. It was this, uh, the decent sampler, I put the shimmer up a little bit. Um, hang on, I need to figure this out. Which, which track is it on? Is it on here? No. You know what, I give up looking, to be fair. I love that. I really love Cry About It, honestly. So that, that's how I made it. On the master track, which I'm really curious about, it's just a limiter with a bit of compression on it here. And that has really shocked me. That has really shocked me. I thought I'd had uh, have a different thing on there. I thought I'd have at least a compressor on there above it. But no, I don't. I have a limiter with the compressor function on. That's quite... That's quite cool. That's quite cool. That's really quite cool. Because I, I literally forgot how I made Cry About It anyway. So this is quite still quite fun to see how creative I can be. I must admit I have lost a bit of creativity. But now that I've seen this, I'll probably like be a bit more creative with my songs. Because that is quite fun. That is the, like, the whole process of making Cry About It was fun. But now I'm going to go back onto my laptop to show you how I mixed and mastered the vocals and the song. I already hate this video because FL Studio is already broken on me today. You know what? You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. You know what I mean? Just forget it. I'm cancelling the video. Whoa. Okay. That is um, big. That's a very big screen. Okay. That should do it. There we go. Now you get to see behind the scenes. Amazing. Okay, back to FL Studio. That's if it decides to cooperate today. So this is basically the standard um, instrumental. And I had um, a guide melody, which basically helped me write it in a way, because I already know what I wanted the melody to be, if that makes sense. So this um, is the main, 
that's with the piano. I don't want the piano this with it. But yeah, this is the uh, main vocal. Um, it has... Well, I'm just going to show you what, what it is without all the EQ in that. Maybe it's all in my head. They seem to want me dead. I know I'm not included with the rest. They all hate me half to death. I'm used to it. All I'm doing is I'm like boosting the high ends and cutting out the low end with the EQ. Maybe it's all in my head. They seem to want me dead. And I have this I uh, stereo exciter, death, which it. makes it a nice in your ears. In and this is the EQ cutting out the harsher frequencies. So if I turn them up, like it's not really a nice, pleasant sound in your ears. I also added this, which just brings out the uh, high end a bit more. It's a free plugin I got. They seem to want me dead. And I have a, a reverb plugin, plugin that I got from when I downloaded FL Studio. They seem to want me dead. I know I'm not included with the rest. They all hate me half to death. I'm used to it, used to it, used to it. For this, it's literally just a delay, uh, reverb, and um, cutting out the low mids in the bass and the sub. And boosting the high mid and treble for that one. Anyway, um, I want to see what this sounds like. You made me wanna cry about it. I'm left oh, it's literally just the same the lead. Table, okay. We even said I was the last guys. Last guys. I just put a delay on reverb on these as well as the stereo exciter that I talked about before but instead of putting it like halfway I put it to full full for the ad libs I just put a lot of reverb on it as well as cutting the harsher frequencies and these are from the um, first verse I added these just has a uh, I know you said verse it's not a verse is it? it's reverb with EQ cutting out high frequencies for an example it's not really a nice frequency to hear And for these, as you can tell, as you can tell, that doesn't sound like my voice. It's because it's like pitched down a little bit. softer here and then just go into the main chorus as well So this is the new tone plugin. Um, let me reopen that. Uh, I want to see which which like vocal I was tuning last. 
Oh, you ever said I was? Oh, you ever said I was? It's clearly not tuned because it's not saved of what I originally had it at. And these are just the lyrics. Yeah, this it's only the first verse in the chorus because that's all I wrote at the time. Um, my phone died, I think, so I had to put it on here. Uh, this just basically makes everything cleaner. So this is like uh, without OTT. And this is with OTT. And this just allows me to hear the vocals, for example, from the side of you, if that makes sense. So it's a bit weird, it's a bit weird. And this is just like, this has a compressor. And this basically tells me if it's properly, properly mastered, it has to lie between 13, I'd say, to 14, minus 14. Luffs or LUFS. And it sits nicely between there, which I'm happy about. Um, because when it gets uploaded to Spotify, uh, Spotify will increase the volume. I think. I hope. I don't want to sound like a complete idiot, which I am. So that is the end of the How I Made Cry About It video. Um, I might do more, just put in the comments what song that you want me to do, and I will try my hardest to absolutely make the video and show it to you guys. And yeah, it might just be the vocals for some. Some I actually might go into um, how I actually made it all, like this video. Um, but yeah. That is it for the Cry About It video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, there's more songs coming soon. Heartbreaker, my EP, is coming out on the 21st of June. Uh, the link is in the description for you to pre-order it and pre-save it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great EP. I feel like you guys will love it. Um, but I'm still working on the album, which is what that is for. There's tracks on there. It's getting sorted. We're gonna do an album. We're gonna do an album. So yeah, that would be it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because most people decide not to subscribe, and you're missing out if you're if you're not subscribed. You're genuinely missing out on the amazing content I post on YouTube most of the time. Uh, I will. Uh, make another video like this, hopefully, in decades to come. Bye-bye.